Hi, this is Raymond and welcome to Briggs Laboratory. I'm here to make a tutorial video on how to make a Lego croissant stand. I don't know if I have pronounced croissant correctly, so please uh, correct me in the comments if I did not. The design of this croissant stand is again based on one of the builds of JC from Small Brick City but the original build is a pizza stand not a croissant stand so I based uh, this build from what JC did so Again, shout out to JC. Thank you. And you can uh, check out his build uh, in the link in the description. Just like what JC did, I will divide this tutorial video into three parts. The first part is for the base of the build. The second part is for this oven. The third part is for the roof of this build. So those uh, are the three parts for this build. This is a bit complicated for younger kids. So it needs to be divided into three parts. These are the parts you're going to need to build the base of the croissant stand. Two 1x4 modified brown bricks, three pieces of this 1x2 modified brown bricks, the same as this one, one 1x1 one one round brick, one 1x2 one panel piece, and one 1x1 one one corner panel piece. Of course, you need the croissants, at least two of them. This is the base plate of the build, which is a 4x8 plate. 1x2 one, one gray plate, 1x2 two two plate, and 1x2x8 plate. For the white plates, you need a 1x2x4 plate, 1x1x4 one, one plate, 1x2x2 two two plate, and 1x1x2 one, one plate. You will also need two pieces of this one by one modified uh, brick with a stud on the side. And two pieces, uh, this tile, this kind of tile, one by two tile, one two by two tile, and two pieces of this plain one by two tiles. So this is what we're going to need for the base of the build. So let's begin. First get the base plate, then the 2x8 gray plate. Put it on one side, like this one. Then the 2x2 plate on the left, and the 1x2 plate on the right. So there should be a 2x6 space in the middle where we will put these tiles. So let's put this tile here. This one is for the minifigure who will uh, be manning the croissant stand. That's it for the base. Now let's put the bricks. Now let's put the bricks for on the sides. This one on the right side. Put another one uh, here. Like that. 
this 1 by 2 brick on this side which will be the base of the oven then another one here and another one here like that put the one by one round brick in the corner now let's build the cabinetry put this panel piece here and this corner piece here for this cabinet with drawer just place this 1 by 2 tile on the side studs and place it there so this space will be for the oven let's put the countertops so this one here the 1 by 4 plate here and it would be better if you have a 2 by 3 plate but I don't have one so I'll just use a 2 by 2 and a 1 by 2 plate so there you have it the base is finished Next, we're going to build this oven. I'm not uh, taking it apart because I don't know if I can put it back together as exactly as it is. So I'll just show you the parts that I used while it is intact. So I used a 1x2 black plate here and two transparent 1x2 bricks. You can see that then two pieces of this one by two modified uh, plate with uh, this guard or hand guards on the side for the oven i also used two one by one white plates but if you have a one by two white plate then it's much better than a one by two red plate on top of it then I also use three three pieces of this 2x2 two two black plate to hold everything together right so I have a special piece that I will show you this uh, angled 2x2 two two angled plate if you, if you can see it this one so I just broke it apart <laughs> this one one of this right angle plate so you see it there in a one by one black brick and up plus these two one by two grill pieces for the oven And put it back exactly as it is. I also have uh, this uh, top piece and a, an oven gauge piece, and two of this uh, one by one brick with studs on the side, gray in color. So if you want, you can also use it, use black, black one. So just put it on top that's it that's how you build the oven and you'll place it in here in the base so that's it that's how you do it how you place it this oven not only it also serves as a support support beam for the roof you can place another support here so 
So this is a simple glass build made up of transparent pieces and two 1x4 plates. So just put this here. So you can put the or put the croissant here. Next is the roof and it features this uh, brick built croissant. I'm sorry, this is uh, the best that I can come up with. I know it uh, looks like a crab and not a croissant but uh, I'm sorry, go easy on me in the comments please. <laughs> so I'm also not going to break this apart because it would be hard for me to remember how to build it again exactly as it is so for the brick built croissant just uh, four pieces of this uh, round plates three pieces of round plates and one round tile with these two curved bricks and a 2x4 brown brick hold them together so that's the simple way I have designed the croissant signage for the roof there is a 4 by 6 base white base and I place this roof pieces around it before I put on the hat the hat of the roof and cap it with a 2x2 two two tile. I place this 2x3 uh, slopes in front and a 1x2 two by, one by two grill and 1x2 one tile on the sides. So this one is a 1x1 one by one, one by two brick and a 1x2 tile. And this is a modified 1x2 brick and a 2x2 two two tile with a stud for the signage. So you just put the signage here any way you want, any which way you want. So it's completely up to you. Let's place the roof. So for JC, for JC's pizza stand, uh, he chose to put it this way. The orientation to be this way, where the vendor is uh, facing the patrons with the oven at the back. But uh, what I chose is to do it the other way around. that with the vendor behind the counter so the roof will go like this okay so don't mind the vendor who is dressed in a pirate costume <laughs> it's just a temporary for this build okay Let's put a mom and her son to buy a croissant from our stand. So that's it guys. So let's try to put this croissant stand in the city. I'm thinking about putting it on the beach area but uh, I think it is much better in the city itself of Hiraville because I have a plan to create or a mock convenience store another one for the beach area so this croissant stand is a permanent build it doesn't have wheels 
so it's uh, kind of hard to decide where to put it. I don't think it will fit here beside the Parisian restaurant or behind it. I think it, uh, it should be near the Dallas Cinema so the patrons can buy snacks for before watching the movie or of course there's a popcorn stand inside the cinema but aside from popcorn uh, there should be other food available so I think this stand is uh, appropriate here here so let's see let's see if it if I can find an angle so there he is on one side of the palace cinema it's uh, quite dark in this area but uh, you can see where I placed it So let's put some patrons. The mom. And her son. some percent such a tight space but you get the idea here is a view from the back street the side of the back street so there you have it I love its placement I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, Lego tutorial on how to make a Lego croissant stand. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And uh, please hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything that we upload. I will see you again in the next video. Bye for now!